Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a cherry tree. And today also we will give away a beautiful fountain pen. This is it. The famous pilot vanishing point. It has the novelty that with a click of the back, the tip comes out. During this tutorial, I will tell you how to participate in the raffle. It will be waiting for you. <laughs> to create the project, I will be using these two similar pens to yours, with two different inks. But first, I will sketch the tree with pencil, because obviously the ink from the pens cannot be erased. We outline the trunk. This tree is going to be seen in perspective from the bottom, as if you were under the tree, in the shadows of the tree. And we sketch some branches. Because of the perspective, the tree is going to be much wider at the bottom and will become thinner quickly. When drawing the branches, rather than curving lines, it looks better to do them with short, straight lines that change direction. I want to achieve a very special effect and therefore I get the whole paper wet with plain water and a brush. I leave the paper path to rinse the water. I don't want an excess, just damp. Now here comes the fun part. Since the ink on the pens is water-based, in theory, <laughs> if I draw with this, it should help us achieve the effect that we need for the cherry tree's flowers. I'm making little dots on the damp paper around the branches. This is the color ink I'm using. It is called Yamabudu. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak Japanese. I will write the list of all the exact materials that I am using in the description under the video. It is like a dark pink with a slight violet tint in it. Very nice. The flowers shouldn't be even all over. They come in bunches. If the paper becomes dry before you finish, you cannot go over it again with the brush because you would take off all the ink. But rather, you can lightly use a spray bottle to keep it damp. But even then, the ink that you already drew will react and spread a little bit more. Now using the other pen with brown ink, I delineate the trunk of the tree and give it some shading with hatching and cross hatching. Of course, it shouldn't be even. The bark is a bit rough. I really love drawing with these fountain paints. They just glide on the paper incredibly. We draw the branches, but we will have some sections that are covered by the flowers, so we do not draw this. In regards to the raffle of the pen, all you have to do to participate and to have a chance to win it is to leave a comment on my Facebook page called Galeria de Leonardo Perez Nieto. <laughs> I will leave you the link under the video, saying that you want the Vanishing Point fountain pen or something like that. Participation will end in the evening of this Sunday, 12th of March, and the winner will be announced on Facebook on Monday. Good luck! I wish I had pens for everyone. However, in the near future I will be giving more gifts, so stay tuned. We can go over the areas again that we want darker. We give them two or three passes. Very good! Excelente! Please let me know what do you think of this drawing painting technique. We give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Final Tips and to Patreon. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.